Dr. Grotens. As you know, my name is Chidi Kenamobi. This day we're going to discuss um, one of the challenges with youths. Youths, yes, youths. Myself, ourselves, even most, maybe yourself. You know, because um, most times they used to tell you, uh, we having, I'm having this problem, I am being pursued around by one village person or the other, a witchcraft in the village or stuff, stuff like that. I don't, I, I'm not saying uh, there are not bad people in the village though, but what I'm saying is this, um, you need to understand why they are pushing you. Well, you, need to, you need to understand why they were pushing you. You need, you need to understand why you are being chased around by these men, by these people. Have you ever thought of it? Have you ever thought of, uh, have you ever asked yourself, why are they pursuing me? Why is it that among every other person, I am the only person that the enemy is fighting all the time. The enemy is making you to have problems, making you to have um, disappointments and all that, and challenges and all that. Have you asked yourself that? Have you asked yourself that? Uh, I suggest you ask yourself that question and I believe if you ask yourself, you will understand that you have a different thing in you. You have this talent, you have this gift from God, you have this, uh, you have this, um, th th there's this blessing that was bestowed upon you on, at your bed. You know, that was why the enemy was there to fight you. That was why the enemy was there to chase you around. The enemy was there to, to get you into trouble because he wants you down. He wants you down because you have something that he needs. He wants you down because you have something that he needs. When you have what the enemy wants, what the enemy will do is to keep on going after you to make sure that he takes that thing you have. Now let me give you an example of what I'm saying. In a football pitch, you see 11 players there, 11 players there. Every, uh, each, uh, each and every one of them is going after an object called football. Good. So anybody that carries that football, the other 11 person or 10 person that the case may be, will be going after the person because of what they want to take the ball from him. And once they are after you, you keep running. At a point, if you lose the ball to them, they take the ball, and whoever that takes the ball, the other 11 persons again will begin to chase the person. You that's lost, that, that, you that have lost the ball, nobody will chase you again. Nobody will chase you again because you don't have anything again. There is nothing you have. You don't have anything for me to go after you. You don't have anything to, that can get me start chasing you. You will be neglected, you will be abandoned, you will be, you will be, you will be deserted. That is just the point. So if enemy keep chasing you, what you need to do in life is not to keep on asking God, Father, I want my enemy to stop chasing me. No. If you tell your enemies to stop, ch to stop chasing you, that is, what it means is that, Father, I want to lose what I have. This the grace you've given to me, these blessings you give to me, Father, I want to lose them. That is what it means. Because the enemy can never stop chasing you until you lose what you have. That is the only thing that can make them to leave you. You, you are empty, you don't have anything again. Then the enemy will leave you. But if you keep on having what you are having, my brother, my sister, the enemy must be there to chase about you. The enemy must be there to chase you around. Now, what you need to do is not to ask God to tell the enemy to stop chasing you. No. The enemy has to keep on chasing you. Even if the person you think in your village dies. The, 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 the evil forces of nature who doesn't, that doesn't want something good to come. Maybe fifth, nature made it, God, God made that 50 persons are going to be fed by you on daily basis. Do you know what they do? The enemy, the natural, the, the natural forces that you don't even know is on air, is, is a human being. 
the enemy will make sure that those people that have been, that should have smiled that day did not smile. So they will make sure they chase you so that you don't get what you have to give to them. Because when you give them something, they smile. So that nature will, uh, will make you not will it, uh, pursue you about that I don't get that thing to give to them because that forces doesn't want people to smile. What you need to do is to tell your God, is to tell God, what you need to do is to pray to God to increase your speed of running and direction because you need to increase your speed of running and running in a direction, running at a particular direction so that the enemy cannot catch you and take what you have. That is the only thing that still make that will still make you to be relevant and valued on earth. So don't tell anybody, don't tell God, oh my God, everybody problem from Mr. A everywhere. No, 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 excuse me. That is the problem people have. Most ministers may not tell you that because they don't know. So you need to know why you are being chased around. You are having something that matters. Check in your village. Ask yourself this question. In your own village, in your own village, that person that is a stupor, that person that is nobody, that person that doesn't even matter at all, how many problems is he having? Answer yourself, how many problems is he having? So, my brother, they are chasing you because you have something. Don't drop what you have. Rather, keep running. And running at a direction. May God help you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, I am still your brother. Chidi Ikenna Amobi. Thanks for watching. Bye.